Is Australia a racist country? Now that's a question that tends to raise eyebrows and spark heated debates, but it's a question that needs to be asked, and more importantly, understood. This isn't about pointing fingers or casting blame, instead we're here to pull back the curtain on a complex issue that's woven into the fabric of Australia's history and continues to shape its present. Our aim is to shed light on the history of racism in Australia and its implications in today's society. This is especially crucial for those considering making Australia their new home. We'll be taking a careful look at the triumphs and tribulations, the progress made and the challenges that still linger. We'll venture into Australia's past, explore the voice of change, and examine the current state of racial dynamics in the land down under. So buckle up and prepare for an enlightening journey into the intricate tapestry of Australia's racial history and its current implications. Join us as we delve into the intricate tapestry of Australia's racial history and its current implications. To understand racism in Australia, we must first explore its historical roots. The fabric of Australian society was woven with threads of racial discrimination from the start. When the British colonized Australia in the late 18th century, the indigenous peoples, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, faced marginalization and discrimination. Their lands were seized, their culture undermined, and their population drastically reduced due to violence, disease, and forced assimilation. In the early 20th century, the Australian government implemented what is known as the White Australia Policy. This was an immigration policy that prioritized white European immigrants and largely excluded people from non-European backgrounds. The policy was underpinned by a belief in the superiority of the white race, a belief that left deep scars on Australia's multicultural identity. The end of World War II marked a significant turning point. The need for labor and population growth led to a wave of immigration from war-torn Europe, followed by Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. This influx of diverse cultures and ethnicities into a society that was predominantly white and Anglo-Saxon led to racial tensions. Discrimination and prejudice became a part of the immigrant experience, even as they contributed to Australia's economic development and cultural richness. The White Australia policy was officially dismantled in the mid-20th century, but its legacy lingered on. It was a time of change but also a time of struggle. Racial discrimination did not disappear overnight. Instead, it evolved, leaving a silent yet potent undercurrent of racism running through society. This history has undeniably shaped the racial dynamics that exist in Australia today. The traces of past policies and practices can still be felt, influencing perceptions and attitudes towards different races and cultures. Understanding this history is key to understanding the challenges and complexities of racism in Australia. One significant milestone in Australia's racial history is the Voice Referendum. This remarkable event sought to address the long-standing racial disparities that have existed in the country. It was a proposal to amend the Australian Constitution, to establish a voice to Parliament, an advisory body composed of Indigenous Australians who could provide input on laws and policies affecting them. In essence, it was about giving a voice to the voiceless, and it was a significant step towards recognizing and addressing racial inequality. The results of the voice referendum were a testament to the changing attitudes within Australia. A majority of Australians voted in favor of the amendment demonstrating a collective desire for a more inclusive society. It was a powerful statement about the nation's readiness to confront its past and work towards a more equitable future. However, while the voice referendum was a significant stride, it was not the finish line. It marked a step in the right direction but there's still a long journey ahead. The fight against racism is far from over. The voice referendum was a beacon of hope, but it was not the end of the journey. So, where does Australia stand today in terms of racism? In recent times, Australia has seen its fair share of racial discrimination incidents and hate crimes. These incidences are not just isolated events but manifestations of a deeper systemic problem. Systemic racism, often subtle and insidious, continues to permeate various aspects of Australian society. It influences job prospects, educational opportunities and social interactions, often placing racial minorities at a disadvantage. For instance, studies have shown that people with non-Anglo-Saxon names are less likely to be called for job interviews, a clear indication of racial bias in the employment sector. Similarly, in education, children from racial minority backgrounds often face challenges, such as lower expectations from teachers, which can hinder their academic progress and future opportunities. Social interactions, too, are not immune. Microaggressions, which are subtle, often unintentional acts of racism, 
are a common experience for many racial minorities in Australia. These can range from insensitive comments to exclusionary behavior, slowly eroding the sense of belonging and acceptance amongst these communities. However, it's not all bleak. There are concerted efforts being made to address these issues. From legislative reforms to grassroots movements, Australia is taking steps towards a more inclusive society. The Australian Human Rights Commission, for example, has been instrumental in implementing anti-discrimination laws, providing a legal recourse for victims of racial discrimination. Furthermore, numerous organizations and initiatives are working tirelessly to promote cultural understanding and acceptance. Education campaigns, diversity training workshops, and community outreach programs aim to challenge and change discriminatory attitudes and behaviors. The road to racial equality is long and challenging, but Australia is on the journey. It's a nation striving to learn from its past, confront its present, and shape a more equitable future. The fight against racism in Australia is ongoing but progress is being made. But what does all this mean if you're considering moving to Australia? As an immigrant, you might be wondering how this history and current climate of racism might affect you and your experience in Australia. Well, it's important to remember that every person's journey is unique and there's no one-size-fits-all answer to this question. Many immigrants have found a warm welcome in Australia, a country known for its diverse and multicultural society. From bustling cities teeming with a mix of cultures and cuisines, to smaller towns where communities rally together to celebrate diversity, there are countless stories of immigrants who have successfully built a new life down under. However, it would be remiss not to mention that there have also been instances where immigrants have faced challenges. Some have encountered discrimination or prejudice, a reflection of deeper issues that Australia, like many other countries, is grappling with. Yet, these experiences are not indicative of the entire immigrant experience in Australia. What's key here is to do your research, understand the cultural, social, and political landscape of Australia, speak to other immigrants and hear their stories. Learn about the resources available to you from community support groups to government initiatives. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more informed you are the better equipped you'll be to navigate any potential challenges. And while it may seem daunting, don't let fear deter you from considering Australia as a potential new home. There are countless success stories of immigrants who have found prosperity and acceptance in Australia, contributing to the rich tapestry of its multicultural society. In the end, it's about weighing the pros and cons and making the decision that's best for you. For many, despite the challenges, Australia remains a land of opportunity, a place where dreams can come true. Australia, like any country, has its challenges, but for many it remains a land of opportunity. To wrap up our exploration of racism in Australia, we've journeyed through its historical context, understanding the deep-seated roots of racial discrimination that have shaped the nation. We've also touched upon the significant voice referendum, a beacon of hope and a testament to the country's ongoing efforts towards better representation and fairness. We delved into the current state of racism, acknowledging that while strides have been made, there are still battles to be fought. We've seen it through the lens of immigrants, those who have chosen Australia as their new home and their unique perspective on the situation. But above all, we've seen a nation that is continually striving towards inclusivity and equality. The road may not be smooth and the journey may not be short, but Australia's commitment to tackling racism is evident in its societal and political actions. While Australia's racial history is complex and its struggles with racism continue, the nation is continually striving towards inclusivity and equality. Remember, understanding is the first step towards change.